I'm ready. So last season there was like a more mystical moment. What can you tease about like the, the tone of the season? Then? The tone this tone the year this year will be much more it'll be much more gritty, much more return to our roots. I think Stephen has said in the press a lot that this is that was the goal. And it's definitely our goal as well is to kind of come back and make it more of a crime show the way it was in season one, more villains of the week, more kind of close ended stories. And uh, yeah, magic will still be there because we've introduced it now. Just, you know, we're going to honor that that was what we did in season four. But it's not going to drive so much like it did last year. What can you tease about uh, the new uh, kind of foes that uh, uh, Oliver Queen and his team will face for the next season? Well, a couple of things. I think. Um you know, in the, when we come into the season at the top in, in 501, we'll, there'll be a new kind of element of crime in the city, which will be led in some ways by Chad Holmes character. There will also be a lot of, um, we really want to explore the mafia and have the criminal underworld that we've hinted at at various times in the, and throughout the years, but this year we want to really get into that and, and go, and that will also take us into kind of Bratva and also tie in flashbacks, which since we'll be able to So what can you tell us about those Bratva flashbacks? It's just that we're super excited about them. I mean, everyone's been waiting five years to do this, and we're really, we're just, we're thrilled. It's going to be great. We're going to, we really want to delve into the world of Radva, really see how he became a captain and what his experiences were there, and to make it his, again, like, kind of pretty and visually different and dynamic as possible. So it's, and we're also going to tie them in much more to, with the present day stories thematically. So you'll, you'll feel the kind of, be a little more, uh, a more synergy between the front and the back stories than we've had, I think, in the present in the past year. So, yeah. Will the ship in Felicity's back be brought up again at any point? Like, will, will she have to face those struggles? Because um, that's what's keeping her walking, so is she going to have to struggle with that at all? Or is she going to have to do that? That's a good question. Um, we don't have any immediate plans to do that, but it is new technology. You know, I guess you never know. Hopefully not, though. <laughs> We'd like to listen to and what can you tease about where we can find all of our voices relationship with this Well, in the past, we've you know, one of the things that I know Elicity is very sort of lightning rod and controversy on the internet, um, we left them in a very ambiguous place at the end of season four. And I think we'll get some clarity in the first five episodes, particularly in episode five of season five. But by the same token, we really, one of the reasons that the relationship happened is because we were really right into those characters and right into season that And we're going to do the same thing in season five. We're going to let we're going to kind of let the characters tell us where they want to go, and we'll see where we end up. Now that the world has kind of expanded as much as it has, how do you balance that expanded world and also really focusing on your own characters? It's a tricky thing. I think Arrow in particular being the first of the four, and also being, in a way, the most grounded. I mean, when they when Andrew Greg first came out with the show, there was no superpowers. It was very grounded, very gritty. And season five is, is an attempt to sort of really answer for that, and and it is about balance. I mean, we have to deal with Flashpoint, but we're going to do it in a way that is very much part of the Arrow, Arrow universe. And I think the way we deal with Meta is the same. We want it, we we'll always, we have to honor them that they're there. And we want to, because it, it actually opens up storytelling possibilities for us. But by the same token, we don't want it to change that much. To change that much of the DNA of the show. So it'd be, it's a tricky balance, but I think we will, it will be story dependent. If we find the right story, and we want to bring in a Meta, or we want to talk about Flashpoint, so we've known that Arrow's had a five-year story from, from start to now, so now that we're entering into season five, kind of how far ahead do you guys look at as far as story goes? Is it season six, season seven, or is it just up and down? It always sort of, you always feel a little bit, are you, are you tempting fate? You go, oh, well, we're talking about season six now. Well, you don't have a pickup for season six, but um, <laughs> you yeah. don't want to talk too, too, great, too far ahead. But you always are thinking about it because you have to, we always know where we're going to end up. We usually know at the end of the season at least where Oliver and, and our big bad or the villain of the, the season will, where they will end up. So you're sort of always thinking, well, what is the most dramatic ending for the season? And that does raise questions about season, season six and beyond. So you're sort of thinking about it, but it's very fluid because it changes. It, every, every episode it sort of changes the shape of the next episode. Each season kind of has like a definitive theme. Like, What can you tell us about the theme of season five? The theme this year is definitely legacy, and it's really going to revolve around all of her going back to his roots, as we talked about, and also answering that question of, you know, he, he got into this because he wanted to right his father's wrongs. 
has, he's going to be evaluating, has he done that? And how is, what is the best way to do that? Is it as the mayor or is it as Green Arrow? And while he's struggling with those questions, everyone else will be also similarly thinking about the players. Felicity, Diggle, everybody will be kind of in that same headspace of, is this, you know, is this a hard life they've chosen? Do they want to keep doing this? And when they do, is that... What kind of legacy of leaders themselves, their memory, and their families? Thank you. Thank you.